What's up everyone, Ryan here, and I'm back with another PGA 2K23 course showcase video. And today we're diving into the new course, Talonmore, from the legend, Rich in UFC 99. You always know it's gonna be a very stunning golf course and realistic golf course whenever you play one of Rich in UFC's courses. And this is another one to add to that list. So excited to showcase this one to y'all today. If y'all get some enjoyment, drop a like. It really helps the channel. Subscribe for more and be sure to play this golf course in game uh, so i've been receiving some questions how do you find these courses so just to show you real quick when you're at a private match or local or online match private match when you select the course in the top right it's going to pop up this screen right here you're going to go to the middle right of the page where it says search and for this one it's easy to find you're just going to type in talon more or in your controller you're going to use the use the controller to type in talon more and then it's going to be the only course that pops up so then you select the course there pick your settings and dive in uh, so but today for this round we're going to be playing from the back tees the back tees or the white tees which plays 7584 yards going to be playing pit location number one here for this round of golf and going to be actually playing high winds today all the rest the default conditions here and Ryan Gamer to the left there is rocking the only UK blue, the closest thing to UK blue that I could find. My University of Kentucky Wildcats, a baseball team, just had a big win in the regionals, has adv have advanced to the super regionals, and I really believe this is our year to win it all. Uh, so I I'm ready. Huge Kentucky Wildcat fan here, as many of you all know. I am fired up for the super regionals, and... Go Wildcats, let's go. Uh, but without further ado, let's dive into Talonmore, the beautiful new golf course from a rich in UFC 99. And I'm feeling a lot better. Voice is almost all the way back. I'm feeling so much better. I still don't have all the energy back, but I want to say thank you to each and every one of you all for all the get well wishes, all the positive comments after last week. Uh, we'll try to get to a normal, kind of a closer to normal video schedule this week and resume the series. Uh, next week, we should definitely be back to full normal. Uh, so appreciate you all for all the support, you legends. Uh, but here we go. We get to the first tee here. And one thing I will say, when I first did the flyover of this golf course, I was really worried because of the fairways. So this seems to be, fairways-wise, a link-style golf course. So you see all the random hills. These fairways bounce every which way. So this, to me, reminds me of a link-style golf course that you get some rough fairways or rough bounces off the fairway, uh, but it's just such a realistic golf course, such a realistic environment as well. So it is a coastal course. You have a little creek that runs throughout the course, but you have the inland portion there to the left, and you also have the coastal portion. And my favorite part is the coastal portion. Many of you all know I, I just love coastal golf courses and coastal golf hoes. Uh, but this course is just so beautiful. I mean, we, we do the flyover here. And you have the neighborhood up there at the top of the golf course. You have the ocean coastal part of the course as we're making our way all the way down. But it's just beautiful. And the, the fairways are carefully crafted. Everything is sculpted just perfect and it the course just feels very natural and i think that's something that richard always does a good job on all of his courses they they just feel very natural uh, nothing feels forced and i feel like richard spends a lot of time to to actually pull that off right and then you have the neighborhood town up at the top right of the screen as well there uh, but what a beautiful golf course now one thing i do want to point out that creek there at this portion of the course and the top portion let me tell you that creek is a hundred percent in play you wouldn't think it will be like it's just a tiny creek but make sure from personal experience make sure you be careful I i'm just gonna go ahead and say now i'm not gonna find the water once in today's round obviously I'm gonna go ahead and make that prediction and go ahead and make your fairway predictions i'm gonna go out on a limb here I'm going to say 85% fairways hit today. Yeah. Let's do this. No practice swing. First swing of the day. Looking feeling good. good. The Rocking that UK blue. Well, the closest thing to UK blue, but... 
Well, Ryan Gamer is. And this one's about 140 yards or so to the pin. 138 yards, uphill four feet. Let's go pitching wedge. Look at that green. Okay, this is a tough, tough green. That's a great swing. It, we need a good hop. That is gorgeous. Wow, we played that to perfection. There we go. That's cooking on this approach. Setting up a 12-foot putt here. That's cooking, as John says. 12-footer, but a lot of break here. Not going to be an easy putt up the hill. Just a steady left to right. Well, it's heading towards the hole. Yeah, swing plane was and intentional. I'm this. Yeah. <laughs> so far, so good. We're starting our round under par. Let's Purely intentional for the birdie. Cheers, everybody. Definitely did not misread that putt. Ryan waving to all the fans here. Yeah, he's waving to you all. He knows he's on camera. I know there's no fans out here on the course. Peaceful course. You can hear the ocean in the background, the wind rustling. Peaceful, quiet course, you know? That's just so well designed. We have a reachable par 4 on the next hole with a cross tail wind. But the, the sculpting is just superb. Like, th this is a fantastic, realistic golf course. I'm going to send this ball. Oh, I got to get lucky. That's not lucky, right? It's going to bounce right. Yep. Well, it tried to stay. It's going to be a tough and shot. Second shot here on the second hole. Would have much rather that actually land, go in the sand. Because now probably going to have to hit a partial flop shot. Maybe even a full flop. Spin it back. Because we're in a great lie right here. Here we go. This one for birdie. That ball looked like Roadrunner. The cartoon, you, you all remember Roadrunner? Where it'd be like running full speed and just like turn around on a dime? I think that was Roadrunner. What? Is that Roadrunner taking over the golf ball? <laughs> what a John, shot, your way though. To quite a little streak here. Two birdies in a row. John, you never point now out a streak. Bring your score down to two under. You all, you all called in the birdie train this Wind's weekend, didn't you? Right on no videos one. on Saturday and Sunday this weekend. And you all spent those extra days. No videos posted here on the Gamer Ability ch YouTube channel. But there was videos on Gamer Ability too. Forgot about that. The Stellar Blade playthrough series. Uh, but here on the main channel, you all were just working on calling in the birdie train. Catching up. Appreciate you all. Now that is out of bounds, right? <laughs> Let's not spend our time in the town. Wow, real life, I'd be terrified. Whenever there's houses or anything like that, I am terrified in real life. Because I have no control off the tee. Wouldn't mind that in real life. <laughs> Just send it all the way to the right as long as we don't hit a house or a person walking down the street in the town. Bad. Second shot on the third. You imagine. Wow, that'd be terrible. You're just playing golf, and you shake a tee shot, and you see, like, a big group of people walking. I think I would just kind of use the hand wedge to throw it in the fairway. 63 to 77% lie. 66 to 80. I like the gap wedge here. That's a great shot. We have a backboard to use. Just like that. Okay. I can tell you one thing. Richard Hall. If Richard comes across this video. Nice stroke. We're on the green. He'd be fired up with that golf Ooh, shot. That's up for a here. beautiful shot. Missed the fairway. Used the green. Used the sculpting. Played into the strategy. How the course was. I don't know if you want to say meant to be played. But I feel like we played that right. Besides missing the fairway. <laughs> oh. Yeah, there's that. Forgot about that. But yeah, Richard, very well designed. You legend. 13 footer to continue the birdie streak. 
It could be a good one. You know, I think we can blame John because John pointed out the streak, right? Go. I wasn't going to mention the streak until John pointed okay, it let's out. Head to the next. I need and some coffee. Two under Cheers. Par for the round. And okay, just want to point on out, this one, right to we have a brand new course from the legend B Brusby Zero Eight. That's right. B Brusby has another one, and you will see that probably on Wednesday this week. Just wait till you all see this course. It's coming. Don't you worry. But wow, B Brusby did it. Did it again. All I'm gonna say. Wow, what a golf hole. 539 yard par 5. Gonna take this over the bunker. Hope the wind helps us. That's Tee perfect. Looking decent. John says it's looking decent, and it is. Wow, that took a hard bounce. Settle down. Yeah, turns out you're gonna wind up in the rough. Okay. My stick. And we are in the deep stuff currently. Yeah, that's, Let's you know, the, with the way wow. these these fairways are, you're, you're going to get bounces like that. It's, it's going to happen. That's why I always struggle on link-style courses. Fairways that are like this, all, all the different hills and slopes in these fairways really throw me off. Now, I don't think we get this there. I'm going to try, though. Why not? We get the 60% live. There's no way. 74 not likely, but it's still possible with this wind. The problem is we're sitting on an upslope, right? That's very nice. That is a beautiful golf shot. The swing plane and tempo was perfection. What a golf shot. Are you kidding me? That might be the golf shot of the year. Yep, that's going to do. Okay, sinking this will take you down to four under par. We still got three shot dedications to Rich in UFC 99 as well. 27 feet, downhill three inches. Send this one in. A lot of break here. But imagine an eagle here. Imagine an eagle Looking here. Very nice. I'll miss that by a centimeter. A little bit too much power into that putt. Here's a look for birdie. Can't really complain. You get a tap oh, in yeah. birdie. I'll take it. I'll take it. Okay, we're golfing today. Are you kidding me? That's what I'm talking about. This course is just amazing. And three under par for the day. Okay. Okay, this hole, we got a tailwind to deal with. You all think what I'm thinking? 150 yard par three. Downhill 21 feet. Pitching wedge in hand. Richard. Wherever you are out there on the World Wide Web, this one's for you, buddy. Very aceable golf hole. Gonna do a slight partial pitching wedge, some loft and backspin. Let that wind just trickle it on up there into the hole. Great swing. How did that thing go to the left so much? Did the wind shift? I mean, the swing plane was good. Tempo was perfect. I don't know if the wind kind of pointed it to the left a bit. I mean, swing plane, if you all look at it, I know I, I added shot shaping, right? Swing plane was just a little bit off. Not enough to affect it that much. Tempo was perfect. All right, if you can yeah, see I don't know. this. But uh, that one, I do know way. one thing. That one's for you, Richard. That one's for you. Richard wasn't expecting anything else. <laughs> 66 footer, uphill three feet. Let's send this birdie in. I mean, it's breaking right to left and left to right. Mostly right to left. Very makeable. Gonna have to change to the up high view here. Can't see anything. Oh. All right, here we go. Let's get out of here. Tap her on in. You know, that feels like a pretty good shot dedication, actually, as far as shot dedications go here. <laughs> uh, that This is a par. Two points in stay before format for Richard, but, you know, it kind of feels like it needs bonus points. So, 
Yeah, I, I'm going to give myself bonus points on that one. <laughs> and that's going to leave you at three under par still. All right, let's see what we can do what here a on putt, the sixth though. hole. Yeah, I, I love this golf course. Love the natural sculpting and planting. The backdrop looks awesome, too. Everything on this golf course is just perfect. Amazing. Short part four here. This is one where you have to play to the strategy. You don't need a driver here. Well, a partial driver. But you don't need a full driver. This one's looking pretty good. Thanks, shot. Get up the get up the hill. And, oh, it's gonna hold okay, on that upslope. And five. I'm happy we're on the go. fairway. Don't get me wrong, but this upslope is not going to be easy. Going to take off some distance. Going to be a little unpredictable. <laughs> Look at Richard. What happened on this one? It's like a little valley. What in the world? That looks like a nightmare. <laughs> All right, now. Somebody made Richard mad on this one. I can tell you that right now. That's that's in trouble. Yeah, that's oh, it's gonna hold. Got lucky, honestly. Well, that'll do for now. Look at that smirk Ryan has on his face. Feet to <laughs> the like, cup from here. Like, yeah. Yeah, I tried to do that. 14 feet, downhill 2 inches. It's left to right, and then right to left. I'm going to go left edge. It's getting there. And Hit it way too hard. Fourth birdie of the day. I'm but it worked that. out. On fire today. 4 under through 6. Let's go, baby. Get your coffee, whatever you're drinking. Bringing Cheers, everybody. 4 under after that one. Okay, lengthy par four ahead of us here. 445, downhill 33 feet. I'm going to send this ball. Well, we, we sent it on, our, on, a, on a little bit of a slow and a push. That's unfortunate. Of course, I always find these, it off. these rough bunkers. And here's our second shot on the seventh. Richard, what happened on this one? Why do we have a little patch of rough here? Just for Ryan Gamer? Yeah. Remember when I said 85% fairway prediction? Did I say that? <laughs> these screens are nuts. <laughs> Oh my, I'm going to go four hybrid and just hope we get lucky on this one. This is insane and I love it. Get lucky. I did full loft and backspin. Look at that. What a lovely shot. Hitting some beautiful shots from the rough here today. Yeah, we'll, we'll take that. <laughs> that was amazing. Sink this putt. 13 footer left to right putt. Let's make this. Go, go, go. Yes! Get in there. That'll go down for the bird. Wow. Birdie, birdie, par, birdie, par, birdie, birdie start. Laid out right in front of us here. Let's see what we can do. Yeah, it's a pretty good start. Now we go along the coast here. Not found the water yet, so that, that's a plus. It's a long par four. That's a beautiful swing. You know, the swing was a little bit kind of diagonal, but the tempo was great. It was well played. Thanks, John. Here's our second shot on the eighth. Ooh, that's tough because if you put it on this slope, you're going to roll all the way down this way. So you kind of want to fade this. You don't see me shot shape a lot, but I am going to shot shape this one. I'm going to fade this ball a little bit into the wind, into that slope. Wow. 
Well, I shot shape all the time with regards to loft and, and attacking angle, but I just... I don't draw and fade a lot. Safely on the green. But it worked out that time. The cup. Worked out that time beautifully. I draw and fade when I need to. It's never been my play style. It's not my play style in real life. Mostly because I have no control. <laughs> you know, if I say, if you all ever golf with me, and I say, yeah, I'm just going to draw this one, or, you know, into the wind, you all would laugh. Because you would see the shot, it'd be a mega slice. Yeah, I was trying to. I thought you were trying to draw that one, Ryan. Well, yeah, <laughs> he got away from me a little bit. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna draw this one into the into the wind. Yeah, I bet you are, Ryan. Golf is one hard game, YouTube. Well, Golf is right one now. hard game. Six feet to go here. Ugh, rolled right by. Golf is one hard game. This is your bogey putt. Looking pretty good. All right, the putt goes down, and there's your bogey. Let's just take our bogey and move on. <laughs> and after that one, uh, you've gone up to four under par. That's painful. That's painful. Nobody saw that, right? Yeah. I'm going to use this backboard and I'm going to ace this. I'm calling it now. I'm going to go four iron. Take a little bit off of it. Into the wind. Sit it into the hole. Looking at a six under at the moment. See if you can use the wind on this <laughs> hole. It's left to right. <laughs> you can't make this stuff up. <laughs> it was the cough. You know, I don't know if you all saw it. I had a cough. That cough, and that was mad from the last hole. That anger from the bogey caused a cough. That cough caused extra focus. It's <laughs> gonna send this in. Yeah, I bet you all were thinking. Told ya. All right. Yeah, just another day at the office. You know, the unfortunate part is that was not dedicated. So, but it's even better. I called my shot. <laughs> <laughs> Richard, we did it! I got an ace! A course showcase ace! Never before seen in PGA 2K23. I had one in PGA 2K21. We had an ace a couple weeks ago in EA Sports PGA Tour. And then we have an ace here. That was a beautiful shot. Wow. Are you kidding me? Alright. If this was a, this means if this is a contest course, if this was designed to be in a contest of any kind, this wins the contest. Uh, because that's the, that's the clause in my contest courses that I play. If I get an ace, it wins. <laughs> so, so yeah, very well designed, Richard. Perfectly designed part three. I don't even know what to say. <laughs> ah! I... I, I don't even know. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> oh, my. Nothing wrong with that. And from here, we're looking at about 195 yards or so. To wow. Pin. You know what would have been funny? So I, 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 I mute the mic when I, when I know I'm about to cough. So I muted the mic there when I coughed and unmuted. But imagine if I would have forgot to unmute. And that whole time, you all just see me on the webcam reacting, getting fired up, but can't hear a thing. <laughs> oh, my. That's why I look over a lot to make sure my mic is actually on, right? I, I don't even know what to say, YouTube. That was one of the best shots I've ever hit. That was insane. 
Richard might might have fell out of his seat on that one. How do we? You all all might have fell out of your seat on that one. I think I almost fell out of my seat on that one. And then we almost well, hit it in the creek. The is it that true, John? And this is your third shot. Is it that golf though? You get an ace and then you smack it almost in the water. I can not, I never, whenever I say I'm going to do something, usually it ends up far off, right? <laughs> that one was dead on. A perfect shot going. set up, perfect execution. That's what you wanted in there for par. <laughs> that A sure does good, look good after that bogey. Wow. And after that one, you're at six under. Wow, get your coffee, Wind whatever you're drinking right for that A. I, I don't even know. Richard, you made a golf course with one of the. That was a tough part of three two, and I and had an ace. How does it feel, Richard? You have to see an ace on a course showcase on your course. It's got to feel pretty good, right? It's got to feel pretty good. Is there's only this is the only course in PGA 2K21 that I've ever aced in a course showcase in 2K23 that I've ever aced a showcase. I did have a course showcase ace back in 2K21. This was my first showcase ace on the channel. Fantastic, fantastic golf shot. Wow. Wait, no. Did I have an ace in PGA 2K23? I might have had another ace in a course showcase video. Does anybody remember that part, the coastal golf course? That might have been in 2K23. That might have been my second one. I can't remember. Do you all remember? I didn't call my shot like I did there, but that like might have been this game. This game's been Setting out for a long time, right? The green. Let's imagine an Albi. Richard, wherever you are out there on the World Wide Web, this was for you. Look at that. <laughs> what are we sitting on? Look at that. <laughs> Look at the grid lines. Oh my, don't sprain an ankle, right? Ryan's got to lead the Cincinnati Reds to the World Series here this week. Well, that's a pull. What a bounce. Yeah, I tried to do that. Yeah. Nice approach. Pin high. That's where we like it. For a dedicated eagle. Drop this. Already have a par. I went right by. This one's eight feet away. Dedicated birdie. Looking good. Yes. And that will be okay, five drop points. For birdie number six. Five on points. Day. That one's for you, Richard. I, I still am so shocked by that golf shot Not at nine. Like, I, I still can't under. believe it. We have a little We're aiming stick left right there. Right on this one. Let's la let's trust Richard. He says aim at the stick. All right, I will. He was right. There we go. That's looking good. I mean, how do you follow that up, right? Like, I I'm just on cloud nine right now. Man, this one's about 180 yards. I'm out. telling you, it's the it's the Kentucky blue 100 thief shirt. We're the closest thing to Kentucky Blue. I guess it's not exact, but it's pretty close. Let's send this one in the hole. Speaking of Kentucky Blue, I cannot wait for college football to return on July 16th. Instaboy College Football 25. You all don't understand. It is a game. I played the Instaboy games like crazy. They were my most played sports games growing up. It's been 11 years. I am going to lead the Kentucky Wildcats to a national championship. You will see a dynasty on the channel. You'll probably see a road to glory. We might just do a dynasty where Ryan Gamer starts his own university or maybe something like that. I haven't decided how I'm going to do that career mode. I think I would rather do it in dynasty. That way we can control everything.
decent approach there. And here we have a very long putt to contend with. Okay, okay, so you all may see breaks in the videos, or you may see, like, me off the camera for a little bit if I have a coughing fit. I still, my cough is not completely gone, but do it better. But yeah, college football, listen, you all will see a lot of content for college football here on the channel when it comes out. I, my most anticipated game, like, in years. I am beyond fired up for that video game. I cannot wait. And let's send this into the hole for birdie. Like, I cannot wait. We may have Ryan Gamer take over as the coach uh -huh. right uh, of it. the University of Kentucky Wildcats. You know, that might be how we do it. Ryan Gamer might get the coaching job. Was quarterback for the Seattle Seahawks. That Park might Pot. be a way to kind of kind of make it work, right? Maybe have Ryan Gamer Jr. randomly pop up and be the player. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Don't know how we make that yeah, work in the storyline, but I'm sure we can find a way to make that work. <laughs> Ryan's yeah, just fired up. You can see him waving at everybody. Under. He knows we're talking and about the Kentucky Wildcats. Par four hole. Anybody else ex excited about college football? Like, I am beyond fired up. I may talk about it every, I have talked about it every day, for, but not in every video, but my wife has heard me talk about college football probably for every day in the past year. All right, the new the game. Bunker. Let's see how this goes. She knows exactly when that game is coming out. She's heard it about a thousand times. I, I'm gonna go pitching wedge, full send. We are on today. Am I fired up from the Kentucky Wildcats baseball team last night? Getting the shutout? The final game of the regionals? Yeah, I'd say. I'd say I'm a little fired up. Good job getting out of that bunker. A little work sorry left for, to do, but nothing serious. Sorry for any Indiana State Four fans out there. Y'all had a good season. Good good baseball team right there. They, they struggled last night, but... Here we go. This one's on a good line. We're on. We're Amazing golfing today. Shot. Everybody will have to let me know if you're playing the new college football game when it comes out. After that hole, what team? What team are you all rocking with in Dynasty? Power. We got a headwind on this hole. Honestly, I don't think I'm going to play the career mode as much. I think Dynasty, Dynasty is always what I used to play more than anything. And, you know, I, I'm probably going to play Dynasty on the channel versus probably the career mode. You know, I don't know what the career mode's going to be like. If it's going to be like the classic Road to Glories. Uh, but I think I'd just rather do a Dynasty. Could do both, right? Could do both. Going to yeah, be in the sand. Tough call. Not sure where this will go. Yeah, could do a Dynasty and career, but I don't know. I think it'd be cool to take over as the okay, coach. Let's do this. Let's get out of this bunker and on our way. It'd kind of be a break from the normal career mode stuff on the channel. Still be a career mode, but be a coach versus typical storylines. Let's send this five iron. I actually think that'd be a lot of fun. I think that would fit the Ryan Gamer storyline better. Being the uh, being the coach, because how is Ryan Gamer going to go back to school? <laughs> yeah, I haven't ever... He played in the pros. How do we make that work? Well, changes Don't his name. On the back just yet. You got a lot of work to do with the play, Playing some good golf today. This talking about instant boy football. Card. What a time. What a time. This course is amazing. Got an ace. I still can't believe it. <laughs> Richard, this course was perfect. That's Get all down. I'm going to say. Oh, man. That was a fun putt to watch. From way, 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 way out there. Okay, so Great work. Uh, this channel is going to become a college football talk channel where we just talk about it, the new NCAA football game yeah, every time we're playing a round of golf. Under par. <laughs> Hope you all enjoy the new, the new uh, golf and NCAA football video game talk. <laughs> I mean, 
Because it's the new structure of the course showcase videos. What a beautiful view. 583 yard par 5. Wind at her back, but look at the fairway. Gotta get lucky. You made good contact. Get a good bounce. Get a good bounce. Yes, thank you, Richard. You legend. Uh, I'm going to go out on a limb and say we did not hit 85% of fairways. I'm going to go out on a limb and say we haven't hit 50. And good luck with your second here on the 15th. I really don't think we have. I'm going to go four hybrid. No, four iron. Full loft. Final shot dedication. Richard, this Albie's for you. Calling it right here. Four iron. The four iron's hot today. I believe it was the four iron I hit the ace with. If we dedicate this Albi and it goes in, this would be the last course showcase video and last PGA 2K23 video on the channel. We retire at the top. This is for you, Richard. Heading left. Good news is you're still going to see more PGA 2K23 content. Uh, bad news is it's not an Albi, but at least we're on the green. Now this putt's gonna be interesting. Nicely done on the green and <laughs> on an under regulation, mind you. This putt's gonna be an interesting you one, right? Put this putt down, you'll get to 11 under par for the day. Sixty-nine feet downhill, five inches for dedicated eagle. Left to right, and then right to left as it slides down that hill. Speed's going to be tough. That one's for you, Richard. <laughs> that one's for you. Just a little bit aggressive there. About it dozen feet to the hole from here let's send this birdie in i misread that by about 10 feet oh it's getting there what Way that's eight that points birdie. dedicated to richard a par and two birdies here on the day we have three birdies in a row right now we are heating up score sits at 10 under par at the moment we're rolling right now and this is there. not a course I typically play good on. These these courses with these fairways with the lumps in them, that's the that's the official term that designers use. Fairways with lumps in them. I really struggle with those. We've got about 115 yards to the pin. You can tell I'm not a designer, right? Oh, Ryan, do you design? If you could ask that question, you already know the answer now. <laughs> Let's send this into the hole. No, I just play. Sometimes good, sometimes not, sometimes we ace. If you're new here, if you're new here, welcome on in. Uh, Ooh, this one might be a little too much. Set the bar a little bit high today. Uh, so just keep in mind. There we go. Uh, good shot. This is not how I usually play. <laughs> I, I just want to set the bar straight. About you know, 14 feet. Do not set your expectations at an ace and 10 under round. You know, Change your expectations after this video to like maybe, yeah, Ryan might get a one under, two under, three under, four under, you know? May dedicate a couple doubles and triples. Aces? Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't happen too often. Oh my. Oh my indeed, John. And this is about four feet. Yeah, I just misread so far, it. So good. Okay, well played. This is such a fun round of golf, though. Like, this course is amazing. Such a realistic golf course. A fun golf course to play. And you are currently wow. 10 Beautifully planted and sculpted. Right. Best of luck it's a blast. Number 17. And what a beautiful golf hole. See a little view of the ocean there in the backdrop there. I, I love the planting here. I'm going to take a nice screenshot on that one. Okay, 197 yards, uphill night, 16 feet. This is a very tough shot with this with this pin location. I don't know how we get this even remotely close. 
Well, I do know how you don't hit it close. You hit it like that. Yeah, I was gone. Okay, we're on the green. Okay, left to right the okay, entire way. There's a little here. bit of right to left, right in the middle. But it's mostly left to right. For another birdie. It's a good swing. <sighs> right by. Overhit it slightly, but you know, you don't want to land that one short. You got to you got to send it up that slope. If that rolls back down, you're in trouble. Beautiful view of the course there. Online. On the green. Well done. I, I I still like I don't even know what to say. Okay, after I, that one, you're sitting I, right there at ten under. Did we really get an ace today? Is it, am I dreaming? Of this course. Am I dreaming? Please don't say I'm, dr I'm dreaming, YouTube. Right? Am I gonna wake up and none of this has happened? <laughs> that would be terrible. You talk about a nightmare. Wow, you talk about a nightmare. That would be so frustrating. <laughs> like, I wake up and it's just like... No, it wasn't. That wasn't a real showcase video. I'll ask my wife, like, wait, I wasn't recording? No, Ryan, you were sleeping. Oh. Oh, well, that was a fine that swing. That would be a nightmare. Fine swing. The nightmares I have now are about Central Park AG. <laughs> The impossible challenge, yeah. Yeah. You can tune into the impossible hour, challenge on Fridays on if you have 18. it yet. Impossible challenge is my nightmare. Some of you may wonder when you see the video titles, you haven't watched it. Like, has Ryan really played the same course over 50 times? Let's just send this into the hole. Four iron into the wind. Let's make it. Ooh, this I can tell you one thing. If Central Park AG is watching this, if that golf course is watching this round, you're going to be terrified this week. This Friday is well going to be done. the day. That's another green and regulation. Central Park better and wake this up. This one is for the bird. And get prepared. And hey, Richard, all I can say, fantastic. Perfect design from start to finish. Amazing golf nice course. Way to end your round, dropping that putt for the bird. That's a round of golf. One of my best rounds of golf in a long time. Eleven under, and that was fantastic. I I can't believe that ace. I can't believe it. Like one of the best shots I've ever hit. Not only one of the best shots, I called it. <laughs> remember, remember when I predicted eighty-five percent fairways? About that. Whoever predicted 60, good job. Whoever predicted 50, not bad. Whoever predicted 85, yeah. <laughs> yeah, close. 94% uh, Gers, though. See, fairways are overrated. We, sit, we hit amazing shots from the rough that round, though, really. 1.5 uh, putts per hole, 61. But the beautiful part of that, an ace. Hole number nine. Are you kidding me? 216 yard par three. Four iron in hand. Making it look easy. Calling the shot. Does it get better than that, YouTube? I don't know if it does. That was absolutely amazing. I still can't believe it. One of the best shots I've ever hit in this video game. This is an easy favorite. This is an easy five star. And we got an ace. So remember, any course I ace moves up to one of my favorite courses in the game so richard you did it you absolute legend we got an ace today everybody we got an ace at talonmore we'll never forget it what is the date today june 3rd june 3rd thank you all for all the support if you got some enjoyment and want to hype up that ace you all know what to do drop a like it really helps the channel leave a comment down below let me know what you thought about that ace subscribe for more and check the channel page for plenty more PGA 2K23 and other gaming content. You can find all sports games content here on the channel. We have five ongoing career modes at the same time. Plenty of career mode content and a whole bunch of content coming for EA Sports, College Football, 25. I am beyond fired up, as you all know. 
I cannot wait. And you better believe Ryan Gamer will be leading the Kentucky Wildcats. Probably take it over as a coach for the Kentucky Wildcats and leading them to a national champion. I will see you all in the next video on the channel. If you want even more from me, check out my second channel, Gamer Ability 2. Get on over there, subscribe to the second channel. Link in the description or check my channel page. You can find it there. Doing a full Stellar Blade playthrough series that will wrap up this week. An incredible video game experience. If you have not watched that Stellar Blade series, trust me, you will not want to miss it. It is one of the most fun games I have ever played. It is fantastic start to finish and will go down as possibly the game of the year for me. I will see you next time. As always, have a fantastic day, everybody.